Hello, Z learners. Nice to see you. Happy Wednesday, and welcome to Lunch and Z Learn right here at Riverbanks Zoo and Garden. My name is Milo, and today we are clearly inside one of our habitats. We are in Riverbanks Conservation Outpost, hanging out with our prehensile tailed porcupines. If that's not a mouthful, I don't know what is, but we're gonna go ahead and abbreviate it and we're gonna call it our porky pet feature because we have a very new animal resident to introduce all of you to. And of course, all of you who are tuning in live right now know exactly what I'm talking about because you've seen the adorable Facebook posts, you've seen the photos, all of our up close videos that we've done. But in the meantime, it is so great to see all of you returners, all of you veterans here at Z Learning. It is great to see all of your familiar names popping up. But welcome to Z Learning, everybody. I am not alone though today. I'm joined actually by two different keepers and two different animals. And I wanna introduce you to all four of them in some way or fashion. Some might be sleeping, the animals, not the keepers, don't worry. But I am joined by Becca and Trevor, two of our keepers from our animal ambassador department. And they'll explain kind of what they're doing with our porcupine specifically. But let me go ahead, you've seen enough of my face. Let me turn around this camera because somebody is standing right in front of me. In fact, you can see her in the reflection. <laughs> let me go ahead and turn it around though so you can see the real deal. Because this is Becca, Becca, hi. Hello. But Becca, we are so distracted because who are you holding? Introduce who this is. So this is our newest baby. Um, we confirmed it is a boy. So he is our baby porcupine, known as a porky pet. Um, he <laughs> is massively bigger than probably the last time yes. you guys saw him. We have a lot of really cute small baby photos, but he is just growing and growing and growing every single day, um, getting big and ready to go. Well, and when you say growing and growing, how old is he now? My gosh. He is just about three weeks, maybe a little bit more than that. Um, and these guys are completely weaned and ready to roll uh, at 10 weeks. So right on track for that. He started eating solid food last week. Um, so he really loves peanuts, who doesn't? Um, and he's also really enjoying sweet potato and the occasional banana. Oh my gosh, oh, not even three weeks old yet. And he's already eating solid foods. But like, I have to tell you, it is amazing to me that he's born, didn't have the quills right away, but then eventually, I mean, my gosh, he's very covered in quills now. He was very red and fluffy before, almost like an orange hue. When will he kind of lose all of these colors and really truly look more like mom? So he won't be full grown until almost a year. Okay. Um, but he will have all of his adult quills around that two month, 10 week mark. Uh, oh. And so, yeah, you can see that he's got significantly less, there's one stick in my sweatshirt, significantly <laughs> less hair than some of his Facebook photos and those quills. They're looking a lot more distinct um, and they're actually getting a lot um, firmer, a lot longer. Um, and soon all that hair will kind of disappear out and he'll look just like our other porky kinds, uh, just completely covered in quills. Okay, now I gotta ask Becca, because if somebody doesn't send in a, a comment asking this, I'm gonna ask before they do. Why aren't you wearing gloves while you're handling him? He's covered in all these sharp quills, which is a great form of defense for predators. Clearly you're not a predator though, but why no gloves? I'm curious. Um, well, that's a great question. So underneath on their belly and on their feet, they don't have any quills. Um, sure. So he still has a lot of that fuzzy orange hair we're used to. Um, and even our adult porcupines, they have a rougher kind of hair, but not that quill that's gonna poke and stick. And obviously he doesn't have any quills on his feet. So when he's just kind of resting on my hand with his feet or when I scoop up behind him underneath with his belly, um, then I don't have to worry. Now, thankfully it is winter time. So I do have my sweatshirt on. And so as we kind of learn and grow together, sometimes a couple of quills might uh, stick to that sleeve or stick to my sweatshirt. And so uh, that works out really nicely. But what's also really cool is that they don't have any quills on their tail. So he uses that tail to kind of hold on. Um, and that's a great point at which that I can help steady him if he's feeling unsteady. And then when I go to pick him up, I actually am able to use that tail and to scoop underneath of his feet so that we can be quill free. Oh, that's so interesting. I love all the details of that. I knew there was an explanation, of course. It wasn't just cause, so I'm glad we asked you. Anna, age 11, I see your question. You're curious of how fast will he grow? Well, Becca just mentioned, it takes about a year to become fully grown but already at nearly three weeks old, he's done a lot of growing. But every single morning, our keepers here in the area 
start their morning by scooping him up and they actually weigh him so that way they keep track of all of those different milestones. Um, somebody's looking kind of sleepy though, Becca. <laughs> yeah, that's a good sign. That means he's feeling comfortable. He's having a good time with us. Right now his coals are starting to lay down. I can rub my hand kind of over that back um, and not get any coals on my finger. Um, and so the more comfortable he becomes with us holding him and uh, working with him, uh, the more excited he'll probably be to start doing programs once he is fully in his training. Oh, that is so awesome to hear. Now, Janice, I saw your question come through. Let me go ahead and turn around my camera. You were wondering when is the Porky Pet going to be visible to the public? Well, we are in the habitat right now. So if you were at Riverbanks, you could have a front row view because this is the glass viewing area here in the habitat. Porky Pet is on habitat. But I will say somebody likes to take a whole lot of naps. Mom does. He does. In fact, they're typically more active at night. But he does like to hang out in different shelving areas here at the zoo between the different logs. So you might have to look really close, but yes, he is on habitat. So you should be able to see him. I'm so glad you asked. Oh my goodness, those sleepy eyes. Now I do want to pause though quick. Becca, you've shared already so much great information about the Porky Butt. He's doing such a great job. I'm very impressed. His first program. First program. I know I was going to say this is his first feature and first time meeting all of you tuning into Z Learning. Oh, look at that sweet face. Right when I was about to turn away the camera. Every once in a while we wake up <laughs> and we're excited about life. <laughs> and then we go back to sleep. Uh, <laughs> Working with a baby is a lot of naps. <laughs> I was going to say, you got to kind of take it at baby's pace. That's true with all animals. But when you work with a little kiddo that needs a lot of rest, and then you got to be on their time. But I want to go ahead and kind of pan back here quick because I mentioned that there was other keepers. I want to introduce Trevor. He's one of our other animal ambassador keepers. And he's actually hanging out right over here. I want to zoom in here quick. I won't get too close to her because I don't want to pester her. She is mom. All of is hanging out inside the log right now. She's resting. But it was funny. We were actually, the three of us were laughing earlier before we started our live feature that yes, she's being a very good mother, but Becca, I want you to kind of explain what is a good mom for a porcupine? Because clearly she is minding her own business in a log right now. <laughs> porcupine moms they let their baby kind of go off and do whatever they want um so we talked about that orange hair that's actually for camouflage because as soon as those babies are born they are ready to climb they are ready to hide and so mom will actually go wherever she wants to go and leave baby to climb or to get into a good spot to hide away from predators and usually they'll nurse about three times a night um, until that baby is fully weaned at that 10 weeks. And then after that, they could go their separate ways. But if not, they're okay to kind of hang out and chill together. Um, they don't bother each other, um, but they all kind of do their own thing. That is so different than so many of our other animals. I mean, animals truly do range from having no parental care, say like with a Galapagos tortoise who leaves their eggs, to a porcupine kind of in the middle, or then even to our gorillas, which get parental care for years. It's so fascinating to me. Audrey, age five, was wondering, baby porcupine, is he eating the same things as all the adults are eating? Um, so he gets offered food. We've chopped a lot of their diet up into little tiny bite-sized pieces, just in case he wants to eat some of that. Um, and then for training, we actually use corn, sweet potato, banana, kiwi, and peanuts. Those are the favorites. Um, so when we come in and train with him, not only are we picking him up, making sure he's comfortable, but we're also offering him some of those treats to see if maybe he's interested uh, in eating some of those. So he has the opportunity to eat some of those uh, same foods that mom gets during the day and at night. And then when we come and train, we offer him specifically little bite-sized pieces of whatever she has as well. Oh my goodness. Hopefully all of you who are tuning in live right now got that great view of our little baby porky pet. Now, as he's kind of hanging out, I do want to mention quick, while all of you are still tuning in, we need all of your help naming this little guy. In fact, we're doing a very interesting kind of concept with the fact that it's going to be a team effort. Our keepers have come up with three different options for a name for this little guy. And we want your vote. You're going to cast your votes and starting tomorrow on Facebook for what you think is the best name for him. <laughs> He's really trying to check out our He's camera right now. He's very interested now. <laughs> in this. 
which is too funny that he's, he knows it's all about his feature. So stay tuned tomorrow. We'll give you all the details on how to vote for his name, but we want all of your help. We want it to be a big community-wide effort. Our keepers picked out some really great fitting names, but we'll share the meaning of all of those tomorrow with a very special post for you to start casting in all of your votes on Facebook to name this little guy. But Christine, I saw your question too about how long will he stay with his mom? So Becca, you were explaining he gets weaned at about a, a 10 weeks of age, but that doesn't necessarily mean that he leaves, is that right? Yeah, he'll probably be here for a little bit. Um, this is a really nice fun exhibit for them to be in. Um, and they can live together. Um, so the whole family unit could coexist together and have no issues. If baby was like, I'm gonna go my own way, everyone would be fine with that. If the baby sticks around for a little bit, food's good, good place to be, then they can hang out together as well. Absolutely. Well, in the long-term plan too, and, and it would make sense why yourself and Trevor are actually here working with this guy, is for him to be a candidate for our animal ambassador program. Um, to be a part of creating connections with people up close, maybe that be here on site or eventually when off site programs begin again, or even during virtual <laughs> programs, kind of like we're doing right now even. Um, and honestly, I have to say, y'all have done some amazing work. He's very relaxed and loves the camera so far. Oh, Aiden, age seven, was wondering, is he nocturnal? Is, can we officially say that? He is nocturnal. Gotcha, so good job, Aiden. Most of his activity at night, um, so they're probably running around in here all night having a party, and then by the time we get <laughs> here in the morning, everyone is asleep. Um, he'll get up and explore every once in a while, change spots, and then uh, we get him up to, weigh, uh, to play and to weigh him and give him some foods, and then he goes back to bed. <laughs> Absolutely. Anna, age 11, what is his strongest sense? What do porcupines rely the most on? Well, I don't know if we can zoom right in on that large nose that we have. So they yeah. use that really nice nose. They have one of the largest noses of the porcupines and they use that um, to their advantage. They also will set the mark. Um, and so that's gonna help them keep track of other porcupines. And so that big nose is gonna be his top asset. It really is a very big, cute nose. He went from being very <laughs> excited to being very sleepy very quickly. Oh my goodness. Y'all, you are sending in such great questions. I love to see all these things that you're curious about. If we don't happen to get to your question while we're live, don't worry, we're gonna be checking out the captions later today to, to see what you might be curious about. But once again, if you wanna be a part of helping to name this little guy, we're gonna be sharing all of that information tomorrow. Our keepers have selected three different names. A whole lot of teamwork went into picking out those names. And then you all get to vote on them and what you think would be the most fitting name for him. Oh, he's snoozing. Yeah, he's tired. Oh, he's very tired. It's hard to be this cute. <laughs> it really is. He's getting a whole lot of attention. Ooh, Tiffany asked a great question. Becca, where is dad? <laughs> now we introduced all of Unnamed baby, Richard is actually the name of dad, correct? Correct. Um, so Richard is in the back right now, giving mom and baby some space. Um, and then once the baby's a little bit older, um, a little bit larger, then we'll probably let him back home and visit with them. <laughs> I love it. Christy was wondering too. She said, where's daddy Richard? She knew exactly who he was. <laughs> so Richard is just hanging out behind the scenes to give mom and baby plenty of time to bond and grow <laughs> and get all settled in. And then eventually, like Becca was saying earlier, um, all three of them should be able to share the habitat together. Oh, are we interested in the sweet potato? No. Oh, no, we're too tired. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom back just a little bit. I wanna give you all another quick peek. A lot of people have been asking, where is mom? Mom is hanging out right inside there. You can see Olive with that big, huge prancel tail porcupine nose. And Trevor's been doing a great job sending in some snacks for her. It looks like she has a little bit of corn on the cob that she's chewing on right now. <laughs> All right, everybody, before we sign off today, because it looks like everyone's munching and napping and can't really decide between the two, we are just so relaxed in here. We might just curl up and take a nap with them. <laughs> I want to remind all of you yet again, please tune in tomorrow. It'll be a post. Please share it, comment with your votes, get all everyone in your community involved, friends, family. 
We want so much participation in this naming of our very first Porky Pet here at the zoo. He's a very big deal and we're very excited to share him with all of you. So if you haven't come out to the zoo to see him yet, get your time tickets, come on out, social distance, and see him and maybe catch him before he falls asleep. Oh my gosh. But we'll give you all the details on naming him and how you can help vote to pick out the perfect name for this little guy. Oh my goodness, one last close-up view. Maybe he'll, oh, he is gonna have a little snack. Oh, look how sweet. Oh my goodness, y'all, I am just too speechless. All of you that are sending in great questions, I promise you I'm gonna get to them later, but he is just too cute. I am so focused right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, a huge thank you, of course, to Becca and Trevor for hanging out, hanging out with mom here. One last view of Olive Quick. She's starting to snooze a little bit too in our log. But thank you to everybody who tuned in live today. We are so excited to introduce you to this little guy and cannot wait to share more updates on him as he grows, gets bigger. Oh, we got some guests behind us too. <laughs> so if you come out to the zoo, yes, you can see him, but stay tuned tomorrow so that way you can be a part of the naming. I won't tell you what the names are yet. They are selected. There'll be three different options. And you'll have to pick out of the three, which is your favorite, comment in. All those fun details will be shared tomorrow so you can help us name our very exciting new edition. Thank you all so much for tuning in live today and we cannot wait to share more. Until next time, everybody. Oh, by the way, don't forget, get it on your schedule next Wednesday, same time, noon, Lunch and Z Learn. We're actually gonna be with these two keepers again. It's gonna be the same crew, different animals though. We're gonna be meeting Manny, the opossum, and you're definitely not gonna to wanna to miss it. Thanks everybody and we'll see you next week.